Hey, Mr. Leon Kama here, the best match tutor. So watch about to watch is a video that I've recorded for my August online class. And the class is launching on the 3rd of August, yeah, 2020. So August is the final month for preparations for my friends that are writing in September. So what I'm doing, I'm looking at the August 2019 uh, past paper and we're looking at uh, the questions and I'm explaining so what you're about to watch is a video that is beginning from question 2 which is um, matrices you look at sets you look at uh, single fractions and you end with uh, vectors I just want to give you a feel of what your friends will be looking at what they'll be enjoying and if you are interested in joining this group it's only 100 quarter your friends will be learning they will catch up easily I think it's the best time for you to make it and catch up. It's only 100. You learn through WhatsApp. You get to receive a quiz, an assignment. You get to receive pamphlets, encouraging messages, tips. Yeah, so this is the best time for you to make it. Join the group and look forward to helping you make it. Yeah, so enjoy the video. See you in the group. Bye. We're looking at question two now so the determinant of matrix q is this so the determinant of this matrix is eight so this is the matrix and the determinant is eight told us find the value of x so solution when you're dealing with determinant you know that you cross multiply you cross multiply and you take this as your a this as your b this as your c this as your d so a times d this is the formula for never forget this formula bc is equals to determinant so a d minus bc is equals to determinant so what is a times d x times x 8x minus you have this 12 this 12 is multiplying both x and 4 because they are what they are they are two so when there are two variables you have to multiply them so you have 12 and then you have x minus 4 then our determinant is what? 8. So 8x is equals to negative 12 times x is negative 12x. Negative 12 times negative 4. Yeah. So this will, um, this will give us 48. So positive 48. Because negative times negative. This is equals to what? 8. So 8x, 8x minus 12 will give you negative 4 x then is equals to 8 this must go the other side becomes negative 48 so of this 8 minus 48 is negative 40 so over negative 4 over negative 4 this cancels x is equals to this cancels 10 done the key here is this you just cross multiply this is a formula write it in your book this is the formula for finding one determinant. Then, so this was question one. Then inverse. The inverse. So inverse. Inverse is one over determinant. And then what happens? This is a. This is d. The interchange. This d will come on top. This a goes here. And then this change signs so it comes negative. If they are positive, they become negative. If they are negatives, become positive. So we have. If this 1 over determinant is 8, and then what happens? Our x were found is 10. So 10 here, then 8 there. Uh, C, so 10 minus 4 is 6. So we have negative 6. This is 12, negative 12. Done. You end there. You end here. Now we have <coughs> question, question B2. Question B2. It says, you should look at your past paper, August 2019. The Venn diagram below shows the optional subjects that operate 10 learners at Kasum, Kasambulila Secondary School 2 in a particular year. So this is the Venn diagram. It's a Venn diagram that has been shown. You always be given uh, sets in section A. So what have been told that, given that 12 learners took music, find X. So check this. 12 learners took what? Music. Music. So, solution. In the set for music, we have x minus 3 
plus x plus 2 plus x minus 2. I've told us it's equals to what? 12. I've told us, given that 12 learners took music, find x. So here you group x plus x plus x. Then minus 3 plus 2 minus 2. 12. x plus x plus x. 3x. Negative 3. Negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2 minus 2 will give you negative 3. Is equals to what? 12. So here you have 3x is equals to 12. This negative goes inside plus 3. 3x is equals to what? 15. Over 3, over 3. So x is equals to 5. Simple as that, I've told you, 12 learners took music. Go in the set for what? Music. How many learners were in grade 10 in this particular year? So what this means is that they want us to add the total for everything. The total for everything. But where does x will put our 5? So this is what we have. So this was 1. This is what we have. So we have 59 plus... Uh, 5 minus 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 5 minus 2 plus 43. So I'll get my calculator 59 plus 5 minus 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 5 minus 2 plus 43. I have 114. So there are 114. It's just the accent for the total. Asking for the total. Then we have find the number of learners who took one option, one optional subject only. They took one optional subject only. Only, 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 only means this set. Aka, aka chabe, only even here, only here. So one optional subject of the ones for history. One optional, there are 59. So I have 59 plus these guys for music, these guys for music. So we have five plus two seven plus seven plus this guy's for geography plus 43 this gives us one zero nine so three a there are one zero nine can only this cup part this part this part this part but then we have two optional subjects only two optional subjects we're looking at the intersections so this part this part this part and that part. So I have 5 minus 3 plus 5 minus 2. This gives me this gives me 5. So 5. You have to understand when they say 2, they're talking about intersection. When they say 1, they're talking about that small part. Yeah? So we proceed to question 3. So we now we are now at Question three, look at it. Express this as a single fraction in its simplest form. So solution, this is what we have. So six over n minus three minus five over n minus two. So this, what is common between these two, both of them? n minus three, n minus two. Once you reach this level, cross multiply. So we have six, n minus 2, then minus, always start with this number, always, always, please. Then I have 5, n minus 3. So this is what I have. 6 times n, 6n. 6 times negative 2, negative 12. Then I have 5 times n, negative 5n. Negative times negative, so positive, 15. Because 5 times 3 is 15. These are simple questions. Once you meet them, you know, in September, just uh, smile. Just smile. Then I have, I group the like terms here. So 6n minus 5n plus 12 plus 15. I have n minus 3, n minus 2. So I have 6n minus 5n is n. Uh, negative 12 plus 15 is plus 3. And then I have n minus 3, n minus 2. Simple. Simple as that. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Is it making sense? Yes. 
vectors with our 3B. In the diagram below, OA, OA is A, and OB is B, and AC over CB is equal to 1, and then we have 2. So our AC is 1, then our CB is 2. We have our questions here. Express in terms of A and of B, AB. So vector AB, how do we move to vector AB? Vector AB, going to this side, we always go where there are arrows, so it will be AO plus OB. So going to us, AO plus OB. Always start with your A, which is this, always end with your B, which is that. So our AO is negative A. So negative A plus our OB is B. So once we have that, we're going to say we always start with a positive. So this B positive will be in front. That's A. Like that. You have found your vector. Easy. One mark. Then vector AC. Vector AC. Now check this. AC. I've told you our AC is what? It's 1. So AC, AC will be, AC will be 1 over, you add, this AC is 1, but what's the, what is the bigger vector that I've cut this, is AB, so 1, so 1 plus 2 gives you 3, so 1 over 3, AB, that's your AC, 1 over 3, how is the 3 coming about, 1 plus 2, so that, so here you have, 1 over 3, our A, B, we're from finding B minus A. Then you have, you cross, you break, so B over, B over 3 minus A over 3. Yeah, those are the vectors, my friend. These, these are your vectors, vectors, vectors. Then we have O, C, vector O, vector O, C. So I'll go O, A. Plus AC because I'm from finding my AC. So vector OC is the um, OA plus AC. So what is my OA is A plus S is B over this one. Because vectors the answers help. The answer that you have found here will help here. So if you have found this wrong, it affects everything. So once you have this, I'll group my what? My like terms. So I have A minus N over 3 plus B over 3. What do I introduce? A 1. So what's common here is 4. So 1 into 4, 4. 4 times A is 4A minus. Sorry, what's common here is 3. Sorry. So start again so what's common here is three one into three is three three times a is three a minus three to three is three is three to three is one one times a is a and i have b over what three so my final answer will be three a minus a will give us two a over three then plus b over three that's what we have. That's what we have. So check this. Given that M is the midpoint of OC. Midpoint means half, 1 over 2. Given that M is the midpoint of OC. Show that AM is that. So AM is equal to. How do we go to AM? AM. How do we go to that? So it will be. It will be. AM to be AO plus OM. How OM? Because I've told us M is the midpoint of OC. Yeah? So, let's go. This will give us a same AO plus. We need to prove this. This we need to prove the then um, plus OM. So, our AO is what? Our AO is negative A plus our OM. OM, as I said, given that M is the midpoint of OC. So half, half, 
Then what did we find as our as our OC? Our OC is this one. So I'm going to say 2a over 3 plus b over 3. You see, half is the midpoint. Midpoint of what OC, which I've put in brackets here. So I have negative a plus 1 times 2 is 2a over 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 times b is b. 2 times, you see this 2 multiplies the denominator, 6. What do we do here? We group the like terms, I already grouped. So over 1, what is common? 6. 1 into 6 is 6. Yeah, 6 times negative a is negative 6a. Plus 6 into 6 is 1. 1 times 2a is 2a. Plus b over 6. This is GCE, my friends. Negative 6a plus 2a is negative 4a over 6 plus b over 6. Are we heading there? I think so. I think so. So here, here what do we have? So they have told us 1 over 6 is common. If you see here, 1 over 6 is common. 1 can go into both numbers. So we're going to say 1 over 6 is common. And then I've started with the positive here, positive b, which is here, b, so b minus, what is that, 4a. We have, you even say hence, shown. You see that? So 1 over 6 it was what is common, you get it outside. You can even prove 1 times b is b over 6. 1 times that is that. Hence shown. Yeah? Now, so pause the video, look at it. This is interesting. I love this. Let's go to construction now. All right.